Hello, I'm Mike Watt, and I'm again talking to an empty room. And I want to show you this. This is a postcard I got from author Harlan Ellison uh, back in 2001. In 2001, I had started to have a little bit of success as a short story author. I was getting into a lot of print magazines. It was, it was feeling pretty nice, and I thought I would have the balls and temerity to send Harlan a package. And he, was, he wrote this really kind postcard that uh, thanked me for the work and uh, asked me never to contact him again. And that is pure Harlan, and that is my Harlan Ellison story. And I bring that up because of Exploitation Nation number four. And before I dive into the contents of our rock and roll movie issue, the Harlan Ellison tie-in is he had just passed as we were putting this issue to bed, and I had asked William Wright to write a, a eulogy I haven't even included the postcard because why the hell wouldn't I? Uh, you know, <laughs> again, we should we should feel proud of our our weird successes, and I, I count that on among them. Um, anyway, issue four was our rock and roll movie issue, and I don't remember why this came about as as a theme, uh, but uh, Paul Bunnell's "The Ghastly Love of Johnny X." I think had just hit Blu-ray around that time. And this is a great rock and roll film. It was one of the, I don't want, I'm, it was not a flop. It was, it was shot on 35. It, it made it black and white, made it to theaters. It was a musical and it, it played theatrically. So by any account, whether it made any money or not, that's a damn success. And we have, we, we focus on all sorts of great and wonderful things like a uh, hard day's night and head. And Terry turned me on to something I'd never heard of called Slade which isn't a movie that I liked, but I was fascinated to find out about it, and I appreciated that. Slade did uh, the original... Uh, is it... Was it Rock Me You Like a Hurricane? I, I believe it was. It's in here somewhere. You know what? You read it. You tell me I'm wrong. We have... There's my... Uh, this is a long thing with William from The Ghastly Love of Johnny X. This is Paul's interview. Justin Wingenfeld, my good friend and filmmaker, the director of Skin Crawl, does a great piece on The Who and their films, especially Tommy. I saw Tommy for the first time in Justin's living room, freshman year of, high, of college. So, so that's lived with me for an awful long time. He also covers Quadrophenia, which is a movie I do really, really appreciate. And the centerpiece, as far as I'm concerned, is Terry Tom's big, big look at beach films. All the beach movies, the Annette Funicello, the, the, the Frankie Avalons, the, you know, you know the, the, uh, the Harvey Lembecks, you know, all the, the great films. He does this, anything you want to know. And this is why I like doing this magazine, because what other, what other magazine is going to give you 15 pages on beach films? I'm, well, there might be others. I don't read everything, but I like to think that we're bringing you something special. We have an interview with uh, John Michael Thor, who uh, did Rock and Roll Nightmare. There are, yeah, there's my big thing on, on head, which I will defend to my grave. And I compare and contrast it to the Beatles and the Ruddles, and I have a whole great deal of fun. And then, of course, there's Jason Lane does this really great piece on Phantom of the Paradise, which everyone should see by now. It's, it's, it's on HBO. So if, if you haven't, if, actually, matter of fact, turn this off and go on HBO and watch Phantom of the Paradise, and then come back and watch issue five. Uh, so, rock and roll films. Here's here's this our first really big meaty issue too. This one came out at a hundred and good lord, hundred and forty five pages. So we're we're we have a lot to say for this one, and it's it sells well. So go to exploitation nationcom and I will see you soon for issue five.